Welcome to my first instructional video of Git. The intention of this video is to create a version directory and go over the basic usage of Git. For this demo, I will use a virtual Windows 7 machine and Tortoise Git as my Git client. I have already installed Git and Tortoise Git, so if you want to follow along, go ahead and install them both before continuing. I have already created a directory called my Git project with a couple of text files and a subdirectory. Now, suppose we want to convert this directory into a Git repository so we can version all the files inside this directory, we can simply right click on the directory itself and choose Git create repository here. This action will create a hidden directory called .git. The .git directory contains all of the settings concerning this directory. The next step is to add all of the files into our Git repository. We can select all of the files individually or just right click in the directory, select Tortoise Git and then add. This will show you all the unversioned files and subdirectories in your repository. Check all the files you want to add and select OK. Note that the files are not yet inside the repository at this time. Doing a git add will only put the files and directories in a staging area. To put the files in the repository we still have to commit our changes. So again, right click in the directory and choose git commit master. At this moment you might get an error message saying that the username and email must be set before committing. This is to identify who committed the changes. Click yes and enter your details. These details can be changed afterwards in the settings menu of Tortoise Git or your local config file in the .git directory. Note that these settings are on per project basis so you will need to enter them for each project you work on unless you create a global git.config file. The global git.config file is beyond the scope of this video. After you have entered the username and email, the commit window appears. In the section below, you see the changes that are, are about to be committed. In our case, the files to be added. In the upper text box, you can write a commit message which should indicate what changed. When ready, click OK. That's it. Now you have a version directory in which you can change or add files and commit them to the Git repository. Note that everything discussed in this video is local. Remote repositories are not covered.